Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Tesla style screen for your Colorado uh, unit. So this is the OEM unit. First, you're going to take off the silver piece. Once that comes off, there's going to be two screws at the top. There's another video on how to uninstall your OEM unit. Once you take these out, um, we're not going to use all of the clips. There's some metal clips that you need. So get out at least uh, nine. So three here, three here, and then get the other three somewhere else from one of these. And then after you take your unit apart, you're gonna be looking at our unit. And on our unit, you're gonna put three clips on the top here, three clips on the side here, and three clips on the bottom. Uh, that's how you're gonna install it. You're gonna also take the OEM um, fan right here. And of course, you're gonna clip them on. They should clip right in. So after you clip these two, your unit should look like this. And this is how it looks, so it looks pretty nice. Uh, you have the CPU here. So if we look at the car itself, you're going to have a T harness for this orange connector. You see we have it here. Originally, this was connected to our car and we put ours in between. And then you're also going to have a extension for the AC connector, which is this blue wire here. Um, for the USB, we have it routed from here. It's a brown connector going through in there down to the glove compartment so you can access your USBs from here. After that, you're gonna connect your audio. So if you don't have this plugged in, you're not gonna get sound from Bluetooth sound or plugging in your phone. And you also have, you also have this red and black cable. Now this is for your steering wheel control. You're gonna plug one or the other, whichever one gives you the steering wheel controls is the one that works. And this connector right here routes all the way to here all the way to the top of the steering wheel column. Now it's gonna look something like this. And you can see this is the red cable that goes to here. And this is the T harness that you're gonna find above your steering wheel column. Unplug it and put this connector between it. After you have this connected, route that cable all the way to the front here. So now that we have these connected, like so, you're gonna have a mini USB connector. This is for the screen and the AC. Here's the small speaker. Now this small speaker is the purple connector I was talking about. This is for your navigation, say Google Maps, and you want the turn-by-turn -turn navigation to sound off and tell you directions. And we have that here. It's a small speaker. Now you can have, you can mount this anywhere. We have adhesive here. You can do it here. As long as the unit here fits in. So now what you're gonna do is make the connections. Not too many connections. The first we'll do is the purple one, and that one goes on the top right here. The USB goes right next to the purple one, and the yellow for the audio goes right below the purple, which is closest to here. So let's get closer and see. We're gonna plug this in. Um, it's kind of tight right now, so let's first plug in the easy ones. We have the AC connector with the extension. Okay, that's the AC one. And we gotta find the factory for this one, which is right here. It's a black connector. This is factory connection. There you go. And the final connection you're gonna have is the mini USB connector. Oh, forgot the yellow one. Make sure you remember this one. There you go, yellow one's connected. And now the mini USB for the screen to show. This is how you're gonna get your OEM UI to come up on our unit. Next is your GPS monitor. Now your GPS monitor, you gotta make sure you route it correctly. Um, we'll keep this unplugged for now. But for the GPS monitor, take your GPS, connect it to the top of your car, wherever nearest the hood, I mean the uh, top of the windshield. Route the wire all the way from here down to here. Once you have that wire routed here, take the weather stripping off of your car, which is, uh, yeah, you just pull this off and then you route it down here all the way to below your feet area and then go straight up and try to find a place to put it through here. Let me turn that off. Once you route the GPS through the bottom, 
you are going to screw it on to this right here. So let's plug everything in, turn it on, and see how it works. All right, now that we have it all plugged in and connected, now you're gonna have three clips on the right, three clips on the left, three clips on the bottom. You're gonna clip it in, then you're gonna take the two screws and screw the left and right. After that, you can put that uh, top piece, which is right here. This goes on the last and final time right here. And it should go right in. Last but not least on the final install, you also need to plug in the aux cable. We provide a short aux cable. You wanna plug it in and on the other end, you're gonna leave unplugged. It's uh, kind of just like having a um, activator. So it's just to activate it and tell the unit to use aux audio. And then you can have Bluetooth audio, phone audio, and um, music files on your unit. So make sure you have this plugged in and that's how to do the install. So stay tuned for future videos. And if you want it for your car, just let us know. Um, there's actually a tab that you can do an inquiry on the certain car you want. We might do it on the Toyota Tacoma. Um, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Now that we have all the connections are made, the unit's pretty close. I don't want to take it out and it will disconnect. But you have the USB, you have the purple connector, yellow connector, brown connector, the AC connector, as well as that black connector next to the AC. The GPS connected, and if you have factory backup camera, you would plug in that RCA. So let's turn on the car. Hopefully you can see those connections well. Let's see if it turns on. So on a cold boot, uh, this would take maybe uh, 60 seconds. But because this is fast boot, uh, we're doing the first boot up, maybe 60 seconds. But after the fact, it'll be uh, it's just snap of a finger. You turn on your car, it'll go straight to the home screen. Uh, you can change this wallpaper, um, just ask us in the description below, it should also be on our website on the knowledge base tab. But you can also control your volume while you're here. There's air conditioning. No wonder I thought I recognized you. So you can see air conditioning going up and down, also the volume. Don't show this message again. I wanted to address a talk that you had.